that I was on the phone with her when she could have been getting a free rejoin. Love you, love you, mom. Love you so much. Now that we've gotten all that info out of the way, we've got over 14,500 people in the game. Let's, let's get these comments out of the way so that I can get to our warm-up question. Here's question number one. In what city will you find the Eiffel Tower? Paris, New York, or Sydney? I don't have the actual numbers, but I guess that more people propose near or on the Eiffel Tower than anywhere else, which makes sense since it's in the city of love, Paris. 13,961 of you got that one right. Well done. That is 99% of you who are moving on from question number one. You're warmed up. You're ready to go. You're excited. We only had a few people go with New York. The big building there, that is the Empire State Building. And only a few people went with Sydney, known for its opera house, where it looks like a whole bunch of waves crashing at the same point. It's very cool. Very, very architectural because it's a building. We're on to question two now. It's worth a bonus SB. Here it is. Which part of the body is used to make a fist? Knee, hand, or eyelid? My producer, Hal, will tell you that one of the greatest acting moments in film is in Back to the Future, when George McFly goes from scared and hurt to angry, punching out Biff after making a fist with his hand. That's the answer. Another 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. You know how that works. You're moving on. But for the few of you that are out, I do, I do want to know. Are you okay? That was my George McFly. Nailed it. We're on to qu qu question, question number three, Q3, as it's also known. Quizzle number three. It's never been called that before, but it has now. It's worth a bonus, SB. Here it is. What is the highest score possible in 10-pin bowling? 50, 225, or 300? If you're able to successfully roll nothing but strikes for an entire game, you will have rolled the super rare perfect game, tallying a score of 300. 11,976 of you got that one right, but that's only 86% of you. A little surprised by that one. Maybe not a lot of bowlers out there. We do have almost 12,000 people who are rolling a perfect game so far, but we lost about 2,000 people. We've got some rejoins, which is amazing. That means that you can still pick up the spare that is winning after you've rejoined the game. 225 people went, or 225 had 1,500 people go for that answer, but... Perfect, perfect game. 300 even. We are now on to question number four worth a bonus SB. Here it is. Which hills divide England and Scotland? Cheviot, Capitoline, or Herefordshire? Reaching an elevation of over 2,600 feet, these steep but rounded hills have a namesake neighborhood right here in LA. Cheviot Hills. Cheviot is the answer. 4,182 of you getting that one right, but that's only 33% of you. Let's get back in the game, folks. We lost 8,520 people on that one. Herefordshire definitely sounds like British or English hills. I I'll give you that. I don't know the English countryside that much. I want to visit there someday. Any of you visit England and Scotland. It's on my to-do list. We have 4,100 plus people back in the game. Almost 3,000 people using a free rejoin. Well done. You know that you're getting a free rejoin today. That's why you know you can use it smartly right now. We're on a Q5 here worth a bonus SB. Here it is. Which is the only vowel on a standard English keyboard that's not on the top row? A, O, or E? Almost all of the vowels, even Y, the sometimes vowel, are crammed onto the top row of a keyboard except one. The first vowel in the alphabet. A. A is the answer. 5,755 of you moving on. That, that percentile went back up. 70% of you got that question right. Well done. We did have a lot of you go with the letter O and a few people go with the letter E. That is okay. You can still rejoin right now. 
For those of you wondering why I just sang the letter A, it's from Moses supposes his toes are roses in Singing in the Rain. It's an amazing number. Tap dancing galore. But right now, I'm not going to dance around this. It's time for question number six with a bonus SB. Here it is. The Rattlesnakes eventually became what band? The Bee Gees, the band, or the Beatles? After the Rattlesnakes, they were known as Wee Johnny Hayes and the Alley Cats until a DJ named Bill Gates named them after his initials and the Bee Gees were born. That is your answer. 2,966 of you getting that one right, but that's only 48% of you. Wow, pretty close to a 50-50 split. A lot of people going with the band and the Beatles. You know, there were in history a lot of bands called the Rattlesnakes that changed their names, but the band and the Beatles we're not on that list of bands who did so. Let's get back in, folks, right? We have a lot of you back in already. 1,100 people back in the game. Almost 500 of you using a free rejoin. Well done. It's time now for question number seven, where the bonus SB. Which planet is closest to the sun? Earth, Mercury, or Mars? We may be trying to go back to the moon or even get to Mars, but we won't be visiting the correct answer to this question anytime soon, since it's too hot on the surface of Mercury. That's your answer, Mercury. 3,414 of you getting that one right. Well done, back up to 83% of you getting that question right. Proud of you, you know your solar system very well. We did lose about 700 people. Just a reminder, it goes uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then I still count Pluto. Comment below if you still count Pluto as well, because it's a planet. We're on to question eight now with the bonus SB. Here it is. What animal completes this common expression? Don't have a horse, salamander, or cow. He didn't come up with this phrase, but Bart Simpson has kept it popular for the last 30 years, telling people to brush off their troubles by saying, don't have a cow, man. 3,327 of you got that one right. 94% of you were back up into the 90 percentile of people getting that one right. Well done, everyone. You're not having a cow. You're having a great time right now. And I, you're going to continue to do just that because we're on to question nine worth a bonus SB. Here it is. The kangaroo hoppet is a long-distance cross-country skiing race that is held in which country? Australia, Russia, or the United States? Held on the fourth Sunday in August each year since 1979, cross-country skiers gather in Falls Creek, Victoria to compete. That is in Australia. Australia is the answer. 2,913 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. If you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, you'll get a free rejoin like the one you're getting for playing this game. Why? Because it's Second Chance Week, everybody. We had 67 people use a free rejoin to stay in the game today. That's why you need them, right? If you want cooking dinner to be easy and fast, check out HelloFresh through Swagbucks.com. You get a huge variety of meals where the prep work is done for you. Just cook and serve, and it's the perfect amount of food. Sign up now and get $20 off each of your first four boxes Plus, you'll get over 4,000 S in the kitchen easier. Now, this is for our U.S. players only, but check that out after the game. All the prep work's done for you. That's one of my least favorite parts of cooking, the prep work. I am very particular, and measuring takes a long time. I know. You, you're wondering how to measure how much longer I'm going to talk to you. Not very much longer, because it's time... For question 10, it's worth a bonus SB. We still have over 3,000 people in the game playing for the money. Over 14,000 people hanging out and having fun. Let's see how many of you are going home winners. Here is Q10. What are baby goats called? Pups, kids, or sires? Goats don't call them this. They call them, ah, but... 
We call them this, and I guess we think that goats are really close to humans, since we also call those baby goats kids. That is the answer. 2,952 of you knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to all of you who are splitting the grand prize today. We've got Rachel0616 on the board. DartMonkey132, you hit the bullseye on this one. Well done. Kitty Pie, you are a winner. Astro76, Chick, you had a solar system question, right? That, that sounds like it's right up your alley. Congratulations to all of you who are winning today. You are getting your prize in the form of points called SB. You're getting... 34 SB right there. Well done. You can redeem that for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You did it. Great job. Your swag queen will be here tomorrow for another game of Swag Bucks Live. I'm Nathan Andrasek. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, everybody.